Welcome to Outdoor Adventures. My name is Buck Remington and I will be your host. And you will be joining me as I hunt all over the globe to try to find trophies to put in our Outdoor Adventures Hunting Lodge. We'll be hunting everything from giant whitetail in the Pacific Northwest to fallow deer in Germany in the UK and even some monster besiet ibex in the Iberian Peninsula. So, I suggest you kick your feet up, grab a cold drink, maybe pop some popcorn, and enjoy the show. As today, we go to the very special place of Leighton Lakes in the Pacific Northwest, where we're going to try to get us a monster trophy moose. first episode of Outdoor Adventures, we travel to the scenic Leighton Lakes District of the Pacific Northwest. This massive reserve is partly in the state of Washington and the United States of America, and its northern reaches such as Winnipeg, High Lake, and Norden lie over the Canadian border. And that's just where we're headed for, hopefully, a trophy moose. Well, after quite the long journey, we finally made it to our camp for the night. We are in the southern Willapeg outpost. And this is where we're going to start our hunt in the AM. First thing we're going to do though, is we're going to go in here and hopefully get something to eat and take a well-deserved rest. Bright and early we're up. 6.30 in the morning. And what we're going to do now is head over to the cache and get our weapons for this hunt. We have a pair of binoculars, of course. We have some scent eliminator. And it's going to be a gorgeous day, so let's head out and see what we can find. Right there, guys, right there. We have the majestic Roosevelt elk right there, and another one back there behind those trees. Beautiful creatures. Looks like there may be a small herd of them over there. We're not here for elk, but we can always stop to appreciate the beauty of Mother Nature.
not like... Oh, wait, wait. There's a bull right there. There's our first bull moose, guys. First bull moose on Leighton Lake. He's definitely not a giant. And I definitely don't think I want to waste our tag that quick. There's that coyote right there. Surprised he hasn't ran off yet. There's a small bull right there. So that's pretty good. That's making me optimistic. Now, when my family used to hunt up here, of course, we never hunted the Canadian side. We always hunted the USA side. And uh, I, uh, I used to love coming up here. Such a beautiful spot. Never walked away empty-handed. I always managed to fill our tags. And we always managed to fill our stringer, too. <laughs> A lot of good fishing around here. just had the moose run right out in front of me. I couldn't see him, but he looks like he's a little better than that guy. Let's see if I can pick up any tracks. He went this way. There's this track right there. I hear something. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay low here. Try to be quiet. There's definitely moose all around us, guys. It's, it's thick with them up here. a pretty nice moose guys now the thing is if I take him I'm done. This is over. So, the dilemma is, do I take him and end the hunt early? Or do I wait to see if I can see something better? 
Oh, he's got a nice rack, though, and I mean, he's right there. And I mean, I can still take a female. I have two moose for the freezer. That's not bad. But the problem is, unfortunately, I loaded the wrong ammo. So, if I do end up taking this guy, I'm going to have to take him with the 454. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, but it's a long way back to... Back to a camp to get more ammo. Let me see what I can do. This is not normally the way I would do this. But in my excitement, I forgot all about getting the right ammo. And actually there's a lot more moose over here than I realized. I'm sure there's only one bull though. Try to sneak here. They're right in the open. The only cover that I really have is right behind them. They're right there. They're right there. Okay, he's right in front of me. I think if I can make it over to this tree, I should be good. There we go. There we go, guys. Whew. We got him. We got him. My first ever bull moose with a handgun. I can't believe it. Look at the pomade on this guy. He's huge. I just like to take a moment and just... Let it all sink in. Take in the beauty of my surroundings. Alright guys, let's pick him up. I knew. I knew he was a monster when I seen him. I knew he was a monster. He's got a messed up rack, but you know what? That's all right. That's all right. We're going to taxidermize him.
What an amazing hunt. I mean... I remember how good the hunting was up here, but... I mean, literally... On our second day, we're about two hours into our hunt, and we just got that absolute giant bull moose. And look at... We got some female over there. I'm in my legal right to take one of those. I have a tag for them, but you know what? I'm going to let them two go. Because I think we were blessed with finding that monster. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what this is all about, guys. It's about making memories. And it's about adapting. Now, I feel completely stupid for grabbing the wrong ammo. I really do. Uh, in my excitement and in my defense, like I said, I usually always hunt with the 300. So for some reason, I just grabbed the 300 ammo out of there, not even thinking. But how cool was that? Like I said, that was my first ever bull moose. Take it down with a 454. That's some pretty good stuff. So I wasn't sure how long this hunt was going to go. I mean, I had three days up here. But uh, I couldn't pass him up. I mean, there's no telling if we would have seen anything bigger than him. And if I didn't take him and didn't find anything bigger or at least as big, I'd have been kicking myself the whole trip. So that's amazing. Truly amazing. In a truly beautiful setting. I mean, it doesn't get more beautiful than this, guys. And with that, I think this first episode of Outdoor Adventures is coming to a close. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. That would let me know that I can make more outdoor adventure hunts. And I don't think we'll be done hunting up here. We'll definitely come back. We'll come back for whitetail. We'll come back for blacktail. We can hunt both those in the same season, so that'll be good. Uh, we come back for those elk. That'll be fun. Until next time, guys. We have no idea where the road's going to take us. But it'll take us somewhere good. We'll see you next time.